to re-strategize my, my stuff right now. That's what I'm doing. That's the main reason for uh, this space. Even though we know the information already tweeted out there about uh, what's happening with the, with the token. And of course, a lot of people doesn't know what's happening. Maybe uh, because of all the tweets going out there, um, they are seeing a lot of stuff and they are not highly informed with what's happening. So that's why I'm bringing up my Arkham Intelligence and all what's happening. I don't know if it's, it's needed, but I'm just going to bring it up. So we have a better understanding of what's happening here. So we're we'll going to start with uh, the tweet, earlier tweet of Richard Hart on the 10th of March. And he was talking about um, the hacks on e hacks on Ethereum, why the gas fee and liquidity slippage, uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. And from there on, a lot of people took it, or let's say people took it as a sign to sell everything on the Ethereum network. So, yeah, of course, there's a lot of whales out there that have the money to do it on Ethereum, but then there's also people that doesn't have that much money because the guys, the gas fee are very high. So that means that they're not able to sell or on um, early end stake. But there is a lot of people that have been doing early end stakes. So that means, oh, another one, seven million. Poof. Um, yes, so the alert is going crazy right now on my Telegram chat. <laughs> it's getting crazier and crazier. And yeah, I mean, I'm just going to quickly come out and just switch on the PC. Let me try it on PC. That's also what I want to do, but if I go out and then the the stream, uh, the, the space will fall out. So yeah, so I'm checking out the chart right now and it looks very, very awful, but not that awful, but I mean like, yeah. Yo can, yo, can you hear me clearly now? Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to put you as cool as you can, but it doesn't work. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me, let me, let me go with another, another Twitter account. So now Hex is woo! Sorry guys, but I'm sorry, but this is um the Ethereum one is it just went approximately about sixty three percent down. Incredible. Incredible. So let me drop the contract and then we can check out. Yes. So, yeah. Also, one thing that had caught my attention that Jared Subway is, is just making money on this. Incredible. Incredible. In one hour, he made already approximately about $543,000. Holy. Is that the MEV bot? Uh, yeah. Uh, Jared, yeah. Yeah. Because he kept he kept coming across chain constantly, and then people were like putting the hex uh, no the pulse chain alerts up, and they were like oh, and it was just the MEV MEV bot. 
Yeah, so he's he's just making money, you know, going crazy with it right now. Because of course, uh, there is um, there is approximately about let me check. Uh, Profeta, I'm going to step down. I'll, I'll still be in the space. I'm just not going to be uh, speaking. I'll be back in about literally 10 minutes. I've also sent an invite to Furu Finance, so he should be coming in if you want to bring him up on stage and also make him a co-host. I did it already. Let me check. Uh... Can you hear me, Furu Finance? Hey, how's it going? How's it going, guys? Thank you for uh, having me on. So what I'm trying to do is trying to get as much people on so they can speak. Um, and also give their point of view of what's happening right now. And I have been seeing that a lot of people have been uh, arbitraging and creating... Um, let me check. Um, arbitrage opportunity, like Jared Subway. And a couple of EV, uh, MIV bots also are banging on this right now without mercy. So I'm checking it right now on Arkham Intelligence. So, yes, the price of X on Ethereum is going down and also is creating a, a mirrored effect on the Pulse Chain network. Even though, if we go to the Pulse Chain one, But the price of P hex is going up. That's also one thing. And the one on Ethereum on both chain is trying to keep up. But the power, the the financial the financial power, let's say the the amount of money that is getting out is too strong to keep it up. So I have a range approximately about four zero four point four four zero point oh oh four one six. So that was the previous point of previous point is I think we are going to reach that that right now. So that will be approximately about what about forty nine percent already and that point will be at sixty two percent. So if this is a strategy to scare out uh, the exchange that hold the, the most majority of tokens i don't think they're gonna go too easy on it and let it go so we have to keep in mind right that the strategy maybe he's using this strategy we don't know that he is using this strategy as something that um to scare out some some of the these exchanges that hold a lot of this money a lot of this this hacks in your wallet but also for a lot of people right now that also have their stakes on ethereum is highly very expensive right now to unstake them so of course um we receive a copy on the third on the post chain network so that means that we are okay on the post chain side so now our bags on the post chain side is going up i mean the p hex is going up but what what do you guys think is going to happen? Uh, do you guys have a strategy already planned? Or do you guys have something that you guys think that you can do with it? So let, let's hear about it, guys. Yeah, I mean, uh, thanks for having me on. Um, I think that I, I, I don't really put too much thought in like the exchanges that hold the copied eHex because effectively it would have the same the same thing would be happening you know if they dumped in the future it's just really happening now um you know the price of ex would just dump um and irrespective of the exchange exchanges holding um which there aren't too many of them you have the bank x which has far more than i'd imagine far more than any of the exchanges um it's just i guess maybe as the other coins were were going up. Hex was not going up as much because a lot of people were split. Were instead of like buying one, they were buying two. So it was just like an uphill battle. And and uh, I guess Richard he's implied that Hex on Pulsing 
is really the one people should be buying. You know, I mean, he's, he calls it hex. He called it hex all this time. So, I mean, now he just figured like, you know, enough of this sort of, uh, legal jargon. Um, let's just call it for how it is. And, and let's just have everyone get behind it. And, and we see the, the effect of that playing out, you know, hence the, the massive pump for hex. I think the strategy going forward is to just, in my opinion, as your uh, non-financial advisor, is to just buy Hex on Pulse Chain, and that's it. I think that's 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 really there's not there's not it's there's not much to people. There's no you don't need to overthink it. It's just Hex on Pulse Chain is is the way to go moving forward. Uh, there's there's no two ways about it. So at this moment, for a lot of people in here that, that doesn't know what's happening, um, a lot of you know already because you have been seeing a lot of tweets coming around and seeing that uh, a lot of people have been sending it. <laughs> it, it, it gets crazy sometimes when we start uh, tweeting stuff out there. So yeah, so that means that the price of Hex on ETH is going down. And of course, we have been seeing that a lot of people don't know what to do. And of course, those people that are, doesn't have the knowledge to go in and, and watch and be like the day-to-day -day basis on having um, the hex token in their wallet and stuff like that. So yeah. So the main thing is, what are we going to do now? So a lot of people are buying the the P hex, and of course, this is also an opportunity for those who have been buying P hex at uh, zero point two zero seven to sell because a lot of them are selling right now include a lot of these whales that have been buying at these um, margin points. So for me, by observing the market and see what's happening, for me, it's for me, right? This is for me. Um, watching every time, keeping keeping track of, of my bots, that are keeping track of what's happening, those who are buying, those who are selling, and the behavior of a lot of these investors in here are, um, for me, it's, it's like trying to understand how we I can manage to create a, a strategy or change my strategy based on what is happening right now. Will this happen again? Of course, it will happen again. And yeah, so what is the thought of you guys, the rest of that's in here that I'm inviting to speak? Uh, what are your thoughts? And, and tell me, what do you guys think that what should be your strategy right now? Yeah, so um, I think... It's pretty clear. Richard Hart made it very clear now. If you're going to buy hex, what hex to buy, right? And I mean, even before him making that tweet, it makes more sense um, logically to to buy p hex just because of the the fees. Um, now, I do think the a lot of people are panic selling and panic unstaking right now. I don't think that the p uh, the e hex price is just going to go to zero or just stay low regardless it's still going to be tradable and traders on ethereum will still take trades on ehex based off of technical analysis for example so there will still be a market for ehex um i just think it's kind of shit either way uh the way it all happened and and how everyone just i mean i'm looking at a lot of these um emergency unstakes and how much money people are losing to unstake um, but so, I mean, that's, that's not nice, obviously, but I, I've always said that there's, there's no way that hex on Ethereum and hex on, um, Pulse chain are going to ever find like a parity or like a, a similar price. It's just that it, it doesn't work like that. Um, and inevitably we would have to choose one, right? It's not like both are going to go up at the same price one's going to lag one's going to do better than the other um but i i don't think this is oh it's the end for ehex i i, I still think it's going to be tradable i still think it will pump in the bull market it just won't pump as hard as phex um that that's that's my thoughts on it i i think a lot of what we're seeing right now is is panic selling um from that tweet and i think it's not it's not necessary to emergency unstake but like maybe if you had um, some e hex and you saw the tweet early, it was a good idea to sell it, bridge it over, buy p hex. Um, but that's that's my thoughts on the whole situation.
Yeah, I, I, I just interestingly, I, I kind of have to agree with you. I, I think that in bull markets, you know, things that shouldn't happen happen. And the analogy that I've always been giving for uh, eHex is sort of like an Ethereum classic sort of thing where like it's it's clearly not the right ethereum and and nobody's using it but since it has the name ethereum it 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 pumped quite a bit and it even got exchange listings like it's on coinbase which is like the biggest exchange uh and most reputable i don't know about the biggest but the most reputable it's in the u.s it's compliant with regulation so i think that uh ehex will do something but um you know just because it has the hex name and logo on it so people that come in will see it and maybe they'll think it's cheaper and, and they'll, they'll they'll buy it but it's certainly nothing to to count on um another thing i forgot to mention was i noticed a lot of like the biggest influencers in the space were talking about hex and they weren't really aware that there were two hexes so like for example martini guy made a post a couple of days ago about how he thinks Hex is going to go to the moon because Richard's going to pump it. And he posted a picture of the chart and it was the wrong chart. He was posting the, the E-Hex chart. So he's like completely oblivious to, to, to the sort of dynamics that are happening. Um, and the same thing with BitBoy, even though BitBoy just became aware that there are two um, in his price prediction, like he, he was, he was making a bullish price prediction for E-Hex and that was definitely frustrating for me and i'd imagine that that was sort of the thing that really took richard over the top because it's sort of um preventing uh awareness and and therefore growth and adoption of pulse chain that all these influencers are sort of misled so maybe he was trying to send a message like you know f around find out sort of thing that could have been another reason for that but um uh, as far as ehex i just want to clarify I do have eHex. All the stakes that I made prior to the fork are, are there, and I'm not emergency end staking them. They're not worth much anyway. And hey, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get a get some. Maybe it'll be worth my while in the bull market to unlock. Maybe not. But um, at this point, I'm just leaving it, and uh, that's really it. But of course, we already have a copy of it on the, on the pulse screen side, so it doesn't matter anymore at this time. But like I was always saying, because I always have this uh, this narrative and trying to strategize my way through it, because for me it was something very important to see that I could arbitrage it, um, provide a liquidity, right? So in this case, right now, it's like, okay, what should I do now? I'm just changing my strategy, right? right? I'm not going to be crying around, oh, this, that, but of course, I'm always trying to, to, to play with it to see what I can have and how I can use it in a certain way that can be um, uh, adapted. But remember guys, we, we cannot stake our eHex in the um, gohex.com. Am I right? So at this point, it doesn't make sense anymore to, and I'm not just, I'm not motivating you guys to talk about it. I'm not motivating you guys to go do it. I'm just saying, that at this time, at this point already, uh, let me check. Can you guys hear me? I'm trying to invite some people on. Hello? Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, I thought I thought all right. So yeah, so for a lot of people, this is, this is like a shocking news. So yeah, so let's uh, let's let's state it out there. He made a tweet, so uh, <laughs> let's go with it. I was surprised at that tweet for the one fact that he publicly said that he doesn't want to see cheap hex on any chain, but now we have cheap hex on one chain so the question is is it an opportunity or like does does he does he really intentionally want to move everyone out of e hex into p hex like I, i'm not sure what game he's playing 
Um, but it, it's a bit contradictive to say that he doesn't want to see cheap hex on any chain, but then to make a tweet like that and basically nuke e hex. So I, I'm I'm not really sure what, what what's going on. Well, he's obviously pissed, man. Look at his tweet. Look at the way he's writing about stuff. He's obviously pissed about the fact that P Hex is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. I think it's very obvious. Yeah, I think. And what I mean by Hex, I mean like P Hex, right? Because like if 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 you if you examine his tweet, he clearly states right that. P hex is better than E hex due to the fact that it's the fee. So why would you do one thing when you could do the other? One's priced better, the liquidity, the slippage, blah 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 blah. Everything makes it where it's a better option. So he's like, why aren't you doing it? And then I guess the whole community is taking it in a different way because the last time I checked, there's four hexes, and the last time I checked, they're all the same, but they have different factors and different characteristics of like price they're like different like ways of demand that people want to use it so okay cool which one's the most used well it's clearly px right so he's obviously pissed that we're not using it the way we're supposed to i think that's the key yeah i just want to i want to say that i think people overthink richard a little too much i think sort of what he says is is what he means and and when he says i don't want to see it on cheap on either chain i mean i don't either uh, nobody wants to see it cheap on either chain. I mean, everyone has copies, but uh, ultimately, um, at the time he said it, there was no, there was no, there was only one hex. So you know, I mean, there was only one option to buy. But uh, now that there are two, and people are really, I think, uh, uh, making, I'd say, making a big mistake by like saying things like well, e hex is well, better and things like that i think that's that's well now um, we have to bring in the other two we have to, yep. i think we have to bring the other two hexes too that pow and eth now because like yeah. e hex like what's the difference like we, i think we now we have to consider four not just two yeah exactly that was i wanted to say because uh, they was just buying some uh, i'm not telling you to go buy it but i mean like um yeah i was going into it today uh, and i was checking it it hit the bottom and suddenly something has happened also on the Ether power right now that I'm like, um, where was I? Right? So, so we have to take in consideration all of them, not only, and we have to be clear, the code didn't change, nothing changed. The only the thing that has changed is the value within the community itself, or what the community preferred the most and how they will cope with it. It's fucking hilarious. Seven hundred yeah. million fucking seven hundred million dollars later, I was mean, like, it's garbage. <laughs> it's like what? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Also, as a as a founder, like obviously he wants to brag about how many X's his coins do, and if Hex is split over multiple pairs, like on, on Ethereum and on Pulse Chain, it's the, the 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 economic energy is going to be split over them, not equally, but P Hex won't perform as well. If people are also buying and holding eHex, so it would look better for the ecosystem for himself if you know PHEX does however many X's without being dragged behind by other other um, hex pairs. So I think that that plays a part of it as well. I think he just wants to see hex on Pulse Chain um, just do a lot better than it would if it's uh, you know being split over multiple chains. So actually, a lot of people are, are, are um, doing some emergency end state, nuking almost everything they have there coming. So I mean, like almost everything. So I've been watching this uh, elastic uh, on the hex, and God dang, it has yeah. to be the biggest payday ever. It has to be. I expect it. I expect <laughs> nothing less. After Richard Hart saying "fuck ex," yo, it has to be the biggest payday. If not, I'm gonna be really disappointed. To be honest with you. What, what happens to the T shares? Like, how does that? How does mechanics work for T shares when so much money is now coming out of it? Do the T shares go up? Like, how does that work? No, the T shares get <laughs> burned, so it makes it harder. Yeah, I'd imagine. Yeah, the T share rate, the, the system is still the same. The code's the same. So I'd imagine that the payout in hex terms on Ethereum is going to go up because now you have less T-shares outstanding 
and uh, the same inflation. The thing is, is that while your T-share, while your payout in hex terms is going to be higher on Ethereum, you're you're like you're you're earning something that has considerably less USD value. So that's like another misleading thing. It's like you could even be earning double the hex on Ethereum, let's say. Um, but if it's worth if it's worth only a quarter of the price, you're you're losing. And uh, that's that's uh, that's something. Well, no, well, well, right now the the factor is, is is that okay? So a lot of people are uh, inflating. So there's two things happening right now. There's the deflation of the T shares, meaning that we're going to get a higher payout. But there's also going to be a higher payout because there's a higher inflate. It, there's more minting, meaning that there's more hex being created. Therefore, tomorrow's inflation is going to be much higher. Um, so like there's a lot of hot coin right now, and, and it's easier to acquire this higher payout right so all this hex that's being burnt okay cool that's that's like what the, the contract saying that 50 percent of it does this and then blah 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 blah, blah. Cool. right cool but that doesn't matter because that's all of us together so all of us together what's happening is t-shirts getting burnt meaning that we're all getting a higher payout and then it's total supply of hex is going much higher because everything's getting minted therefore tomorrow's is going to be even higher no i think i think this is another mistake um Sorry, I, I when when the inflation is the same, it's just the distribution is just going to be different. It's going to go to a smaller group of people, um, and it's yeah, 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 which increases our payouts. Yeah, yeah, but, it's the total, but, but, but the total inflation is the same. It's just a matter of who goes to, and I meaning meaning if you're splitting. Well, no, 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 no wait, wait, wait. The amount, the amount inflated is different. The, um, the inflation percentage is, is a constant inflation rate, but tomorrow's inflation amount, the amount getting inflated, if the total supply grows because more hex is minted on that day, then tomorrow's inflated amount of hex will always be bigger. It, that, no, that, no, it's a three point six nine percent inflation. It's it's, that, it's that's, but no, no, no. That that's not what I'm talking about. That's the percentage of inflation and it's, and it's approximate 3.69 because it, it takes into account 364 days not 365 but if you go read the contract what it says is that it when 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 you mint hex into existence that hex then gets inflated but it doesn't you can't inflate it right every hex inflates itself every day at that constant rate so if there's more hex in total supply then there's more inflated tomorrow not percentage wise there's just more amount and especially if there's more inflated because the total amount is getting higher and there's less t-shirts, that means that there's more payout. It's just, it's just, uh, you, you should you, just check it out. That, that's how it works. You're saying that because people are emergency end staking, the yeah, they're minted, they're, they're, supply they're, goes into circulation now. Yeah, well, they lose the hex, but the hex still gets minted. It's being created every day. Your hex, every day a hex okay. that's already been minted inflates itself. At that constant rate of inflation that you, that three point six nine approximate per year, but you're saying that three point six nine percent inflation is 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 not factoring in the, what's staked; it's what's outstanding, the liquid. No, the total yeah, supply, the regardless of what's in circulation, regardless of what's burnt, the total supply of hex is what gets inflated, and that's the payout for the day. So you take that same percentage every day, and that percentage times the total supply. But because today what's happening, which is everyone's nuking their stakes, causing the system to mint out all that hex that's been promised until the end. And at the end, it gets minted out. Therefore, it exists now on the circulation. Mm -hmm. Right now, because they're end staking, they're minting it into existence. Therefore, yeah. tomorrow's payout for those staying staked is going to be higher only because of logic. Now, if okay. the T-share rate is going lower... Then that means that it's even more of a payout because your piece of your one T-share has more weight, right? So, like that's why I'm saying there's two times more effect on our payouts because of the total supply being mint. Like the total supply increasing because of the early end stakes is then going to result tomorrow in a higher payout. But plus, we're getting the higher payout because the T-shares are getting burnt. Unless today people mint a shitload of T-shares. Because if they, okay. but that's the only way to counter is to mint a shitload of t-shirts today. But I don't think okay, they're so, that. So I hear what you're saying, you're saying that the, the inflation hitting the market is going to go up because of the unstakes, emergency unstakes, and that goes into the market even though there's a penalty. The payout's going to be huge because of the um, no of tomorrow's the payout. Like, like yeah, tomorrow's tomorrow payout. Take, well, whenever it considers into consideration, like, 
tonight yeah. the system calculates itself and says, okay, how much hex was minted yeah. today? And it'll show that the end stakes minted because even though they get paid their amount and they receive that, the penalty is still minted. Yeah, but, but but the thing is, is the, the payout is is going to be worth considerably less than U.S. dollars, and going forward, probably by the time that that it matures, the ratio is going to be even. Is, is no, gonna, like all those guys, all those guys, more. all the all, all that money that goes to the OA, right? All that money that comes to us and goes to the OA that didn't exist because it's something that that person accrued that they created that their hex created every day, right? Because of whatever big payday or whatever, all that hex. Is then well, no, the big payday has already been minted because it's already been. Re- 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 anyways, whatever the, the the amount of hex that's been created every day, right? Once it gets minted into existence, aka a penalty, or you you just end state, the next day that hex inflates itself. So yeah, there's more hex. There's there's more hex. That's what I'm saying. It's really bullish right now. It's really bullish because there's all there's two factors right now making it better because there's so much t shares getting burned. That we're not keeping up with the minting of T-shirts, but also the minting of hex because of these fucking EESs is going to be amazing. So get ready today. You should fucking if you were planning on staking, you should technically stake. What is you get a guy's that, payout? Is that the payout is depreciating in U.S. dollar value? So it would take. That's what I'm saying. And and in the future, it's likely going to depreciate more against P hex. So while yes, your payout will be higher. If you stake today in hex terms, if that hex term, if that hex that you're paid out by the time it matures is worth nothing or worth considerably less than you know p hex, it doesn't really matter. And all indicators are pointing in that direction. That's what I'm saying. So I think it's not a good idea, especially given the clarity that Richard Hart has uh, has given to us today. I think the best thing to do is to continue, in my opinion, just accumulating hex on pulse chain and staking it. Because that's where that that is where, you know, the community is. And if hex goes up, that is most likely like, you know, I mean it's pretty much certain to be the one that capitalizes on the price appreciation. So even though yes, you'll be getting more hex from the emergency end states and stuff, it's going. It's not going to perform as well in your payout in comparison. Oh, if you want to, but if yeah, you're talking exactly. like that, then just buy pulse. No, but you can't stake pulse. I'm saying, yeah, you could buy pulse too. But I'm saying, when we're talking about staking and earning yield and things like that, you know, delayed gratification. Um, EHEX is not the option. Well, the consequences of what he just did just lowered our APY on hex on on P hex, and it's. Increased our APY on EX. Yes, but so like APY is the hex term. So the the the, the P hex, your your APY might be less, likely will be less, but the US dollar, meaning the realized value at maturity, will likely be more. Nevertheless, that's what I'm trying to say. So that's what I'm saying. Like like it's just not good to really, in my opinion, to play these games and to just stick with hex on pulse chain. Also. On top of your, uh, you know, depreciation in EHEX, you're also going to be paying a fat end stake fee, and that's also going to come out of your principal. I mean, effectively come out of your principal, even though because you're going to have to go onto Coinbase and buy like a couple thousand dollars worth of Ethereum, uh, which you otherwise wouldn't have to to end that stake. I just think it's not a good idea, but I mean that, that's that's my opinion, and 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 you know I'm no, you're you're right because if you want to say it, forget about Pulse Chain, it's just right now I don't think it's a good time to devote yourself into altcoins on Ethereum because Ethereum in itself is a better play right now than altcoins. Uh, on Ethereum. Well, it depends which ones, right? But some of them, it's much better to just hold your position in certain positions. Or just buy buy and stake X on Pulse Chain or. IPLS, I don't know. I mean, I, I just think at this point, maybe there'll be a bounce, whatever people could momentarily say, I told you so, but I mean, look at the direction we're moving in. It's 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 pretty clear at this point. I, I don't think it's smart to, to try and play games. I think a lot of people are very, like, counter-trend purists, is what I like to say, meaning I like to say, oh, everyone's saying uh, buy a hex on Pulse Chain, so now I'm specifically going to buy Ethereum because that's whatever... It, Oh, no, no, I've been saying buy Ethereum since 900, man. Uh, that's reg- Forget about that. I'm just saying buy Ethereum because it's a good choice. It has much lower risk. It has much lower risk. 
than than Hex on Polstein? Than than everything else, yeah. How how could that be? I mean, look at the risk that look at the. Mean, look, look, I mean, everyone. That, mean? everyone that bought Ehex uh, recently because of the quote unquote low risk is no no Ethereum. I'm saying like actual Ethereum. Oh, ETH, oh just right. by ETH, it, by actual ETH, ETH. Yeah, I mean that's that's that's, that's low risk. It's good. It's a good choice. But low risk. But, but I don't understand like, people saying forget about it. I, I I look at it like okay, well. Then everyone should just go high risk then, because that's where we're in. Pulsing right now is high risk. But speaking for Regardless myself, of how we see it. I'm like working a job. I don't have much money to put into crypto, so I'm going low risk. Like even if I dollar cost average the, into Ethereum, even at the very top, I'm I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to be. I'm not. Let's just say I'm, I I don't plan. Yeah, on but it's acceptable too because you look at it. You're not taking ninety. You're not taking ninety percent of your paycheck neither. Like I, I'm a hundred. I'm a hundred percent sure that's the case. It's you just. Know what I mean? What's the point of really going into ETH? Like just buying buying index. You know, like that's safer over the next fifty years. And and uh, you know, I'm saying like we're we're in. When we think about crypto, we think about mad gains. We think about you know changing our life. And for someone who's not a big investor, like if let's say Bill Ackman was on this thing, like it's a, yeah, go, you shouldn't even buy PX. Like you should only buy ETH because you're fine. You know, um, I'm saying like for someone that's looking for the sort of gains that we, that we think of in crypto, it's just, it's just not there. You, you, have, you have to go, you have to go high risk. You do understand that the person that you're always glorifying just bought a billion dollars of the thing that you're funding. <laughs> But, but regardless no, of that, like, I, 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 at a good price, he bought it at a dog shit price. Yeah. You already missed out on 355% gains from Ethereum. You could have bought it at 800 bucks. The guy just bought it up, what, 4K? Like, I don't understand how you guys are still in this ecosystem. The guy has fudded his own bag. The guy has went back on his word. He's not supposed to talk about his own project. No, he's fudding it. How do you guys show this to people? I don't get it. Like, the whole ecosystem is complete garbage. If Ethereum goes live with that update and it's an actual good update and the gas fees go down and it costs nothing to do anything on the whole network, Pulse Chain is complete fucking poof. It's gone tomorrow. That's, the point. That, 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 that's not true. Uh, not, no, first it, of all, no, people will still you, use it. You, you, miss, you miss my original point, which I'm saying is that, yeah, it's Your easy to say you could have bought Ethereum. It's like, but again, the returns on Ethereum. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. For, wait, wait, I actually did a tweet that you, it outperformed for 30 days. So like, this is recent, right? If you, if like for, and this uh, is only for traders, yeah, right? Not diamond hand. 400 days, not 30 days. It doesn't matter, so but like th in a 30 days. day span, it outperformed it by 2.5 times on a 30 day span every, on that every, day that we looked at it. Every coin in RH owns hasn't even done anything during this whole 450 days. Like you <laughs> guys, you guys only have another 400 to maybe like 500 days of another bull market and nobody's in gains like you're up what 2x in the whole portfolio i don't get it like i don't get it anymore and um, like um, i like to put my money behind, behind the founder and like richard the old richard what he used to say i was digging that everything he's done since that stupid fucking movie has been complete dog shit in my opinion every one of his moves have been bad everything he's tweeted has been bad every one of his moves i don't understand why the guy doesn't just shut the fuck up and let the ecosystem play out capitalism is capitalism you don't have to play the market you just let the market do its own thing you don't get to di dictate where the market goes he's playing the whole elon god thing and he used to always talk shit about elon oh he's gonna dump it oh he's gonna talk shit about it you're gonna tell me the richest man in the world da -da 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 -da, doesn't know that that bitcoin is mine with electricity da -da 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 -da. and i'm like Oh my god, how do you talk shit about this guy and then you go and do the tweet today? I don't get it. Like, I like to put my money behind the founders and I can't do it anymore. This guy's, like, he's out to lunch. I don't know. Maybe he's just trying to fund people out of his bags and wreck people. Cool? Like, yeah, kill your whole ecosystem. Just go for it, bud. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I, I, I don't think you, you, you heard what I said before, which is that if you're yeah, it's easy to say that you could have bought Ethereum back then, but I'm saying that sort of mindset, you're, you're talking about something that happened in the past, and when you're investing... No, I'm talking about like, just Ethereum as Ethereum. I'm saying, you're talking about I'm saying buying Hex. Also, you're also, looking for your 10,000x 10, your gains, right? That's what you're saying? You're not going to get 10,000x gains out of Ethereum? You're not going to get 
a hundred X gains out of Ethereum within a, within one bull market. It's just not possible. So yes, if you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of dollars and you want to say, I'm not going to put into the pulse chain ecosystem. Okay. Like I get it. I probably, I may, could, I, I would, I would still put in, but not a large percentage because why should I incur that risk? But if you're new and you don't have a lot of money and you're dreaming of the Lambos and the life changing wealth, Ethereum's not an option. That's what I'm saying. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? Ethereum, you've recently. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. So you're telling me you can't get 100x on it on Ethereum? You're not going to get 100x in one bull market on Ethereum. It's not going to happen. It's what do you mean? You need to get a last it. one, and the returns are constantly diminishing. Someone, someone just did it on Pepe and Mark. Okay, so now right. you're talking about the DGEN things. You're talking, I'm talking about, but, but on ETH. Okay, so I mean, if you want to go into Pepe or you want to, I mean, okay, then that is how that's, that's, that's straight. Ethereum. Yeah, but you also, you also, you also realize you're at zero point five percent ratio, and like the last two times that this this occurred at this momentum between ETH and Bitcoin, Ethereum just completely rips Bitcoin because it's going to be utilized so much more. And if you look at the market, like Bitcoin's becoming where like Bitcoiners literally tweet hashtag Bitcoin airdrop. I'm saying when so we're like, is going to be <laughs> Ethereum is going to be Ethereum is going to be the the crypto. Like it's going Ethereum to Ethereum is going to do well. It's going to have high price. Oh, it's going to be number one. It's going to be number one. It's it's gonna gonna be number one. Gains are not there for people in crypto that are looking to make life changing wealth. It's not there. You have to go into the alts if you want to go into Pepe, and that's understandable. Even though I'm saying the 100x you talked about is the past. I mean, you think it's going to do another 100x? You think it's going to outperform Pulse Chain? Well, it's a year. It's a, it's a year and a half. But what, what I'm mean? saying like is, telling me it's just what, a year and a half example. Mog is not even is, is, is like since an August example. I'm saying is is that there's every reason to believe, in my opinion, that the Pulse Chain ecosystem <laughs> is going to do very well in the near future. The ETH gas fees are going up. People had concerns. People had concerns about the SEC, which are not fighting it, which are hard, hard leaving. That's not true. People had concerns about the SAC wallet running away with that money. The chain says otherwise. Uh, the price has gone up in the, re in the recent past. Anyways, I want to go back to what I was talking about. Excuse me. Talking about and, it's gonna, and it's going to continue to go up. If you no, don't, what write, if it doesn't? What if you're wrong? And, what? So what You've if you're wrong? wrong? That's so stupid. Fucking bull cycles, That's bro. just. I'm saying. What, what if, if you're wrong? What if the ETH fees go down? What happens? It doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, but it doesn't <laughs> matter. Right, 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 I'm saying right, there right, are a lot right, of. Right, 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 what right, matters right. is that there's a community. Wait, 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 wait. You see, this is another misconception. This is another misconception. And but wait, but wait, Fru, just wait a second. How did the fees of Ethereum not go down? If you go look at the usage of active wallets, active users, active amount of volume on Ethereum, and you go actually test the amount of average gas, we actually went down four times. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. Even if the ETH what do you mean, it doesn't down, matter. What, do you mean? It just, what I'm saying is it matters, but it doesn't mean that Pulse Chain is no one. Okay, but does it doesn't it matter. Someone, so someone who has a thousand, matter has a thousand pulse, the they market. matter. What matters yeah, is that buyers and sellers. So I'm saying is there is a community and already have the community is present on Twitter. Yeah, but how and can you say it doesn't matter to me? How can you say it doesn't matter to me? It, it doesn't matter, matter to people that have one okay. transaction. It people that hold one yeah. transaction of the L1, it doesn't matter to them either because Pulse wouldn't matter um, to someone with a thousand Pulse. It doesn't matter. Who cares? What I'm saying is that, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that the market is buyers and sellers and the market is not rational. So what I'm saying is if there's a community and there's marketing and there's building on Pulse Chain, even if the ETH goes down, ETH fees go down, which it likely won't, it's still Pulse Chain will still do fine as long as yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying that either, but we can't just you, you, you're you're we're literally sucking the vamp. We're vampiring ETH, and we're at almost two hundred million dollars of vampiring. I thought, I thought it was, so uh, it's okay, but I'm going to continue the conversation. I, I think it, it, we're at two hundred million dollars of vampire value. Like, it's just, I don't know. And to go on the we need to, like, we have the perfect example. Just go look at what Bitcoin did. Bitcoin, like, the fees does not matter. People are paying fucking $300 to mint a JPEG on Ethereum. Or sorry, on Bitcoin right now. No, Ethereum, uh, it doesn't matter either, man. We're doing more yeah, volume like, on chain than Bitcoin exactly could ever dream of. Yeah, we're doing like 70 billion. It's like in terms of Bitcoin, like I, you've heard me, right? You, you understand what I'm saying. It's like if, if Ethereum was Bitcoin, it'd be like 70 billion. 
dollars like, on chain. Like, okay, like cool. Bag, but like it's Ethereum, just because it's open, I so pumped everything so far. Look, like it, but look at look at the potential of it. It's like the L twos. It's like okay, even if the fees don't go down, even if the fees are five times more expensive, it's still a developmental area where you're able to translate all these transactions into an L two. So L twos are one day gonna eventually gonna get the load. So like it's like, well, how are you gonna stop this? How can someone say that I'm not fucking? It's like. I'm I'm laughing. Laughing. It's like okay, the only people not giving a shit about Ethereum is those with one. It's people with one transaction. You know what I'm it's people with one. No, but uh, execute. It's people with one transaction in their wallets. That's the people bitching. It's not the people with a wallet yeah, on the side saying, "Because I have transaction wallet." Twenty bucks to spend. There's just poor plebs bitching, right? Yeah, of course. It's the same thing on Pulse. If someone only bought a thousand Pulse, they'd be like, "Bro, it's too expensive right now to Pulse chain, bro." What do you mean? Like, it's the same fucking thing, man. I just yeah. Let I want to go back to like. The, the whole hexagon topic. How do you guys show this ecosystem to people now? Now that you have like a dog shit founder that just goes back on his word. It's for the people to decide. I think it's for the people to decide what they are gonna do, what they are gonna put the money in, right? Uh, not those not. It's clearly not. If you go look at the market and how it reacted, you had one guy tweet and. The price chart just did fifty percent negative, and people are saying it's going into hex on pulse chain. I don't see a fifty percent pump on pulse chain. I just see it going negative, and they're just cashing out. So he just he just wrecked his own users on, uh, yeah, on. That's on a That's another point. Everything he's literally tweeted goes up a bit and comes right the fuck back down every fucking time. And yeah, I don't know. It's just it, it's gross to see people early on stake and. I don't know. The old Richard would not have done this. I think he would just he would have shut his mouth and let the market do what markets do, right? Because uh, yeah, I don't know. I think he's he he's kind of coping if that upgrade does come through and his ecosystem is useless. Like if Ethereum fees go back down to under a dollar to do anything, it, it's going to be crazy, crazy good for Ethereum and uh, crazy bad for Pulse Chain because it'll never get any type of adoption other than hex skins and pulse skins and whatever else, right? Like, like Ethereum bros aren't going to come over and play. They're not going to care. I think it's just him coping and kind of wrecking his own users at the exact same time. It's gross. Yeah, I definitely think he, he wrecked some of his own users. Um, I mean, you can't send a tweet out like that and not wreck people that are staking for multiple years and just seeing the emergency on stakes and how much people are losing, like, that's not cool. Um, as far as my, my thoughts on the Ethereum gas fees, I don't think Ethereum will ever fix the gas fees. What's going to happen is everybody's going to use L2s. Um, yeah, they might go cheaper, but they will still not be the same um, as fees on Pulse Chain. They won't be that low, or fees on Solana, or fees on these other chains. The only way Ethereum will be able to fix the gas fees is with L2s. That, that, that's my opinion. I, I honestly don't think there's anything that's going to save the Ethereum, uh, Ethereum from, from the gas. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes, but we're also taking, you're not, we're not considering the demand on Pulse Chain. Right now, the demand on Pulse Chain is bring, bridge in value and utilize the system. When Pulse Chain actually, which is, in my opinion, is to our talking? success. There's nobody using I'm, it. It's just, it's just RH. Regardless, why, regardless, why, regardless, okay. regardless, but, that, but that's, why it's cheap, that's why it's cheap fees. It's cheap fees because no one's fucking, no one's using it. It, even, it, no, even, think about it. Even when you do, you know how much invited, Ethereum is being used. Hold on. Even when you guys invited a community in, Richard invited Pepe in, right? What did he do to those bros? He fucking nuked them in a day. He said, "Oh, here's your nice farm. Oh, by the way, oh, it's gone." What the fuck? Like, how do you say you want to bring people in and then just get rid of the shit the next day? I, I, I just it blows my fucking mind how this guy says one thing and does another, like. And that, you want to say it's decentralized? Like, come on, nobody's voting on this shit. You pull up a pool on V1 for some dog shit Bitcoin with real Bitcoin. You put that up there for a day and then you nuke the people in the pool the next day too. It's like, what's going on here? <laughs> I thought we were trying to like not wreck the users. You just invited in the whole Pepe crowd and nuked them in a day. 
Like, and then you're still trying to bitch at, like, everybody in the other ecosystem saying, why don't you come over? It would be cheaper over here. Da, 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 da. It's like, why would anybody participate in this? You just keep nuking everybody that comes in. I don't get it. That, that's that, that's one thing. My 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 point is that we're not really using it. Posting is not being utilized. Like as if like it's not being utilized like Ethereum. Like okay, Ethereum might go to the L twos, but regardless, once it hits that point where it needs L twos, do you know how much money it's doing on itself? You know who has like the rich motherfuckers on Ethereum are going to continue using it like they always have, like they always had, and like it's just going to continue. So like, why wouldn't you want a piece of that? I don't, I, I just don't get it. It's like. Does anyone, when they buy gold, think about, like, well, the price of gold uh, to maintain it, to do the, like, like what, you're going to go buy a drill machine and go in fucking some country and drill gold? Like, no, you just buy gold because it's valuable. And that's what people do. Okay. And same thing, like, I think that's it's a good, good opportunity. What Low risk. And with what Ethereum is doing, they're going to get the fees under a dollar. Uh, probably by the end of the cycle, within the next 400 days, give or take. <coughs> Definitely by the next bull cycle. They'll have all this sorted out with sharding and, and... But even if they don't, it doesn't matter. It's the price of ETH that counts, not the price of ETH. Yeah, the of price of ETH. It doesn't matter. Like, and this is, it makes me laugh. It's like, bro, you think I don't give a fuck paying a thousand bucks after getting a hundred thousand dollar ETH? Like, no, no one with, with, yeah, with understands how do you, like... It's like, do we care of what price Pulse is going to go? And we have so much Pulse. We're going to have as many transactions as possible. But, like, imagine someone in ETH that thinks like that, too. That's why it's like, okay, why are we buy, telling it's people just, to just buy the right argument. thing? It's just a noob argument, man. I mean, I, I get it. It is nice to have everything all cheap and whatever else. But at the exact same time, I don't know. You, you need price performance. And I'm just not seeing it over here. It's weird. The main thing, the main thing is that people want to play. Even though we are DJs, okay, I'm a DJ and put my hands up. All the DJs put their hands up. We are, we come to play in different chains, right? So we just want the game to be fair and let it go, let it be, let us decide what we want to do, right? If we want to stake, we stake. If we don't want to stake, we want to stake. Let the market make its point. Let the market do what he want to do best, right? So let's play on the chain. That's what I love. Play on chain. Play on ether. Yeah, but let me ask you. Let, let me ask you. Where does everything come from? Where's the value come from? I, I, and this is amazing that, that that you are perfect to to ask this question to. Like when when you bring it back, where does it always go back to? Like that's where the value. You're in so many different things, and where does it always stem from? Where does the value always stem from? The EVM value. EDM value. The EVM value comes value. from it's adoption just, plus. Um, you're, missing, you're, more, you're missing the point what he's saying he's asking where is the value coming from not well, from no value is coming from ethereum but i'm saying if you're just talking about a regular l1 it comes from adoption with this ecosystem we're not really getting the adoption we're only just and we're a fork so it's not technically a true l1 right it, you need we do need adoption that's the main key and but it, all roads lead back, any type of EVM, all roads lead back to Ethereum. That's what it comes down to. Of course, we could run as far as we want, but at the end of the day, we're always utilizing it right now. Our value comes from that. Our ratios, our, everything comes from a piece of it. So it's like, why exclude it? Clearly, Richard has not excluded it. No. Talk shit about it, but his but his pay, his wallet doesn't reflect that. That's why we need people need to understand it. Like continue fighting and do all whatever you want, but understand where the value lies. Exactly. That's that's the main thing that people need to understand. Uh, people need to go bet, bet, much better go to see what the wallets are doing, and then come back and then have this the opinion of saying, okay, well, this is going to happen. This is what it is. Why? Because if he can say something on the on stream. And his wallet is reflecting something different. So people need to, to, to understand how the games work, right? Because we have been seeing in the periods of time that he has been buying up Ethereum. Why? Because he knows the value that he there is have when they're going to approve the ETFs. So, but that's one thing. So I can speculate and be like, you know what's, what's going to happen? So he knows that the ETF is going to be approved. So that's why he's buying up the price. So after you bought the price, the price is some of the target, we'll bring it back to post chain. We don't know that. But I am, for me, I'm speculating. I can speculate around that because it has 
been he has been doing that before so why not doing it again repeat the same thing you have been doing before so that's my uh, observation on the wallets that have been seeing this uh, com uh, uh, coming week that have been moving funds around are you guys actually like okay with this like this is the shittiest rebasing i've ever seen in my life and like <laughs> like this is like uh <laughs> This is like selling some shitty chicken nuggets to McDonald's and then like no, it's not. The city and then going through the front door and buying those shitty nuggets for no, for it's like not. The there, there's only there's only one hex. So Richard spoke up about hex because a lot of people have e hex stakes and people with big long e hex stakes are shilling that as somehow or with to, with some equivalence to hex. E hex is not hex. There's only one, and I think Richard. I think he had to speak up because we've got all these different communities that are just fumbling around crypto. And in my opinion, I really don't understand how people got so confused thinking that eHex is somehow equal to Hex. It's not. Hex POW, Hex Proof of Work, and Hex Fair is not Hex. That's just some altcoin. And I actually agree with Richard because I think as the Hex community, we need to come together and put our financial energy together and focus it like a laser beam on what goals we want to achieve and achieving big goals on ethereum is not the hexagon target right now we left hex why did he just ETH buy a billion dollars of ethereum where did it start where did it start where did the hex if start we're not, if we're not giving a fuck about ethereum why why is he buying why did you just take everybody's money so, and buy ethereum? so hex started on eth1 now ETH changed a lot away from what it was when we launched Hex. Hex was written to, to interact with the chain in a certain way. That chain was altered and doesn't exist anymore. The, e the ETH foundation, in my opinion, has been mismanaged, and that's why we had to leave ETH and make Pulse Chain in the first place. What happens if that update comes out in three days and gas prices go back up $200? What happens if it takes another three years as it has already taken three years? I mean, but I asked the question first. Don't fuck a straw man, me. But I mean, that's that's my response. I don't have expectations of those people doing work that I want them to do. ETH Foundation has been completely mismanaged for like a half a decade now, and I think it's going to be completely mismanaged in the future. So I'm not going to put all my eggs in the basket that they're somehow going to pull ZK rollups out their ass. Good thing your founder just put his eggs in that basket for you. We put our eggs in our basket when we sent billions of dollars to Pulse Chain. We voted with we voted with our money, and I think our actions now should be where our mouth was back then. In Ethereum, on Pulse Chain. Oh, so, but, I, 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 I expect to differ, though. I I, I understand your point, uh, Hexen, but like, what are you going to bring into Pulse Chain if you want to bring in new money? You can't bring in cash. You can't bring in fiat. What are you bringing in? Yeah, you can just bring fiat. I mean, Pulse LN lets you buy like Pulse Chain assets on your credit card. So I understand, but that's an on, but but that's an onboard. That, that 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 with all due respect to them, I love them. It's number one for me. But that is not that's not making a difference. What's making a difference is what is your option, regardless if it's Bitcoin or Binance or Ethereum. You got to bring something valuable into the chain to have something. Like you, you can't just buy someone else's bags. It's not productive. It's okay you're buying someone else's bags, but if you want to be positive to the ecosystem, what do you have to bridge in? You have to bridge in something from Ethereum. So it's like, well, do you want to buy the transaction at the full price or at a cheaper price? Because if it goes to five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars, you're better off buying your gas now because you could say, oh, I'm going to bridge in once a month. Well, if you're going to bridge in once a month, you can assume how much ETH you need and get it now while you can because I'm telling you, it's going to keep getting more expensive because this chain is worth so much money. It's doing fucking four billion dollars a day. It's making thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars to users for LPs. And that's not even including the other stuff you're able to do on Ethereum that we're copying. So, like, I, I just want people to miss, to stop misguided, guided, like, people are misguided. This, this community is very misguided. Like, you're listening to a billionaire. He's not telling you. You think a billionaire has really good advice for people who are thousandaires? 
Like if you're a millionaire, bro, listen to a billionaire. But if you're a thousandaire, I think you should maybe not listen as much to a billionaire because they're in a completely different bracket and don't understand what you need to acquire or what you need to do, right? Unless you're just like, well, you are a maxi, but like it's just, it's, it is what it is. It's, you're going to do well. Everyone's doing well. Bro. You can't tell me as an Ethereum, I'm not doing well. I'm doing extremely well. Do you guys think he misappropriated the, the SAC funds? By not just DCing into Bitcoin and Ethereum. I don't care Bitcoin. about bro. I don't. I, I don't care about that. Like bro, I made more gains. In like that's, at the end of the day, what it took. It took longer. Longer. Okay, cool. But there's that's more gains right gains. now. Everybody missed out on yeah. for the but, last hundred days. Okay, but that's greedy. Everyone can you. You could oh, you could have bought the top and fuck. You could have sold the top and bought the bottom. Bro, every fucking know. time. Bro, too bad. I'm just like, I, I don't care about that. That's his. That's the, the, another man should not care about it. What another man does, check care about your fucking self. That's your ego. Check your yeah, ego. I like, I, 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 not yours, but I'm saying people should need to check their ego. It's like we're all winning. Like just relax. Now you can win more than mm-hmm. others. That's cool. But like, how, how are you? How is this ecosystem winning? It's up to no, you could have made money. I'm sorry, you could have made money. You could have made money. New yeah, motherfuckers I mean, who have no clue what they're doing could have made money. I don't know any crypto, especially L1, that does bad for five fucking years since they since inception. Like a two X is a two X. Yeah, 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 there's Amax, there's Phantom, there's all kinds of things that suck, bro. No, but I'm saying. Was, like, was there another L1 that launched with like already starting with billions of dollars in it, in, in and and started with this? Type well, it didn't of have it. it, it, it and then also, dude, execute, dollars, execute. I don't think you understand liquidity. Like you're talking about, hex went down forty percent on ETH, but on hex on on Pulse Chain only went up fifteen percent. Like, do you you understand how liquidity works, right? Yeah, but I'm just saying the whole perspective of people nuking those stakes today, trying to bridge it in and do all this other art bullshit. Like, he just technically oh, got on that one. all those people. And you got to we're, not you got seeing, to we're not seeing the adoption back on on the official hex on Pulse Chain. We're just seeing well, hey, well, you're not going to well, see the gains well, because all those people are new. But he has a point. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Hexen has a point. Like if it didn't go up and the other one went down, it's like you can't look at this, the percentages the same. It's like they're, they're obviously different thickness and it's different. Well, amounts we're talking about month. a fork. Na- that's another thing. Name me one fork where one didn't swing to the upside since inception. This has just been down on both forks. Imagine Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash both going down. Like, what? <laughs> One always swings to the upside. I'm fine with that, as long as it does it. With this ecosystem, it's just swinging to the downside the whole fucking time. So that's the fork. What were we, 13 cents? Then we went to 007, no, 005, I think was the bottom. Uh, give or take. And Oh, yeah, but that's hex. But that's, okay, I and then since the bottom, hex. everybody's been pairing them together, saying... Well, it's not down 99%. It's actually down 98 point something. Because if you put the two together, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, what Nobody's the pairing them together. Talking? Nobody's pairing them. If you're Shut listening to guys that are pairing them together, you, you, you need to change which influencers you're listening to. Go grab all those fuck influencers. Everyone Don't listen to those guys. Those guys are wrong. And that's who Richard slapped this morning. Bro. Don't pair hex with an altcoin. There's no reason to pair hex with anything. Pair it with hex fair or hex proof of work. <coughs> I'm not pairing it with anything. A fuck goddamn Shiba Inu did better than hex since fucking three thousand days ago. Like any meme coin outperformed hex to the downside. How bad is that? There's the fucking FTX is outperforming fucking hex combined. <laughs> like I don't get it. <laughs> it's supposed to be better than Bitcoin. How? It, that, it's dog shit. It, I don't get it. You're getting what? 2 3% for staking? Okay, I have 2 No, 3%, no I'm not getting 2 or 3% staking. Who's getting 2 or 3% for staking? Like 20 well, base stakes? I, I heard if you're staked for 15 years, you get 2 or 3% or whatever. Who three told you that? <laughs> I'm just trolling, bro. Dude, <laughs> just okay, all right. Yeah, trolling, troll, got it, got it, got it. You get it? You get it? It's like... I, I get it. I get the joke. Out. I thought you were being serious. I'm like, yeah. wait, is this guy smoking and, and crack or what? Here's another thing. If Richard's listening, I want him to just go on to that EHEX uh, bag of his. I just want him to burn all those coins, okay? If you don't like it in the no, your business. Your How are you trying to make that your business? That's none of your fucking yes, business. I want, to see him, I, want to see that, I want to see that fat fuck put his money where his mouth is, and he never does it. Okay, well, we all have one believe, needs, just burn all the that's, coins. That's literally none of your business. Why would you even speculate on something like that? I'm not speculating. I'm just calling him out because he's a fat fuck and doesn't do shit. Just talk shit about his own coins and wrecks his own people. Wrecks his own people? 
Yeah, look at all those early instincts. Dude, why are you? Look what, at, what are you? Look at everybody that's been buying EHEX. Why the fuck would you buy EHEX? There's only one hex. I you buy fucking hex you and stake it. Hex. It's not rocket go buy science. Shiba Inu. Go buy, buy some hex. Go buy you stake it. Up. You guys just buy some hex. Like it's not, days. dude. Why would you do that? <laughs> to I mean, lose money for 400 days? <laughs> I don't get it. You're you're seeing <laughs> in the community right. You're Let's seeing in the community right now the state of hex. You got all these fucking furu influencers running on about combined oh the combined value hex is equal to e hex there's some sort of like equation there that is what you see on the chart it's fucking in shambles we're listening to these idiots shilling e hex e hex is a is a shit coin eth fucked us uniswap kicked well, us what off. do you mean richard boasted about the fact that both of them put together was worth the price so what? It doesn't matter. That doesn't mean that like what? EX is, is somehow well, equal to who cares? So then who cares what he says? Wait a second. Who cares who cares what he says, bro? ETH is not dead. He just bought a billion dollars worth. Yeah, the, the, said, they're, 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 I mean there's room right. for speculation on anything. You can speculate on on Zen right now. No, fuck that. That's useless. Let's not. Let's talk about something that actually is worth something. And what's giving us two hundred million dollars worth of value? I'll tell let's you talk guys, about that. I'll tell you guys <laughs> So there's this new upgrade coming to Bitcoin. It's called Upcat. You're going to be able to buy DeFi. You're going to be able to build DeFi uh, faster. Trip. Bro, it's just, there's going to be. Can so I buy much. ETH on Bitcoin? Can I yes. buy ETH on Bitcoin? Yes, there's going to be Ethereum wrapped Ethereum on Bitcoin. There's wow, be, the whole gate is coming open on Bitcoin soon. So all of you guys can just come over to Bitcoin where the capital actually is. I already got like I'm on my fourth thousand X right now and it's been feeling good i like it it's good the capital is real you, you you make a limit order and it gets executed and it's amazing and it's yeah the capital is real and it's on bitcoin oh so that's what you're doing here is selling product no i'm just trying to save everybody else that's wrecked for the past 400 days you guys have another 400 days for the bull market so hopefully uh you guys can get your capital out and it uh, should be. So I have an announcement to make. It looks like someone asked to come up to the stage. This the the same person calls Richard Hart. That's good. No, I'm just joking, guys. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the point, the whole point is, guys, we are wrecked. They just wrecked on Ethereum. Uh, but we are up on bullshit. So yeah. So right now, uh, let's see, what are we going to do? So nobody's going to do nothing, just stay there, just watch it goes and see what's going to happen. Um, yeah, and that's it, guys. I think this is this was the thing was today. I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to shut this down because I think we, uh, almost everyone made a point. Not only a point, a, a couple of them was very good observation. And yeah, uh, see you guys into the next one. Thank you everyone for coming, for giving up your uh, opinion and your, uh, and keep in mind guys, I love you all, all of you, okay? So don't worry about what's happening right now in the market. Just make your money, uh, be a DJ, go on all the chains, make your money because there's money to be made, guys. Remember this, if you go to DeFi Llama, there is two point, um, $210 billion in TVL in the crypto right now, not counting Bitcoin. Okay, so only on EVMs and different chains. So keep that in mind. There is money to be made. So if you're not grabbing your money, stay silent. But we are here to make some money, guys. Okay, so thank you guys for coming in and see you guys in the next one. Shoosh!